Hello, it's Darren from innovationtraining.org. I wanted to show you something that I've been doing on ChatGPT. So I've got ChatGPT4, I've got the pro plan, and there's the feature now, the Dolly feature that will create images. So I'd like to demonstrate how do you create almost a, a very good visual prototype for almost a whole new business, not just a product, but uh, also the packaging, the what the app might look like, what the product would look like, different variations of it. So this is something I was working on. I was at a coffee shop today. I was a little bored and I'm like, oh, let me experiment with just getting one idea from ChatGPT and building it out. So in the past, you might know I had a, like a design firm and we would do this. A company would say, hey, here's our challenge. Here's what we're looking for. We would come up with hundreds and hundreds of product ideas for them and then create images of the best ideas. Now this tool is doing this in just minutes. So here's what I did. You know, earlier in ChatGPT, I asked, hey, can you give me a new product idea, something for kids that they would use around the house, right? So here's what it gave me. It gave me uh, a description and key features of story builder blocks. And it's for the child's playroom, right? That met my criteria of it's something they use in the house. It's multicolored, multifunctional building blocks, each embedded with a tiny digital screen and connectivity to create interactive stories and adventures. Unlike the traditional architectural building blocks, this is narrative layer to imaginative play. And it gave me the features. I thought this was a great idea. I think ChatGPT is machine learning, right? It's learning from me as I've been chatting with it, asking for things. It probably knows, just like you might know if you've seen some of my other videos, that I like to do storytelling training and storytelling workshops. And a lot of the use cases I'm experimenting with with AI and ChatGPT are around building ideas for storytelling programs. So here it created a product. Hey, and it might know I'm a father of two little girls, so it is giving me that too. So here's what I did was I decided to, let's get some visuals. I love the idea, let's get some visuals. So I just gave it a simple prompt. I'd like for you to create images for a new product idea. Here are the details. Just pasted what it gave me before in a previous chat. And here are the images. And I was immediately like, wow, look at this thing, this photo of these blocks, these cubes, the story builder blocks that have the images on there. Here's an illustration. So I wanted to go down the path of the photo representation. So I'm like, okay, here's more. So I asked ChatGPT to describe this product more, right? And it did. It gave me a shape, size, a little bit about this. So I did that in a previous chat thread. So now I'm asking it to now create more visuals in the photo style. I saw I like that. So a lot of times you're iterating on what you're seeing based on this description. So I just copied and pasted that over from a previous thread. And it gave me these three images, right? I'm like, whoa, here we go. The product, the app, what the app might look like. And the packaging, whoa, the packaging was what I thought was really cool, right? And you probably notice it may not spell everything correctly. That's what I, I find, right? But you get the idea. And it gave me some description. Wow, okay, I, I was impressed there. So now let's do kind of what we might do in a traditional product design project or design thinking project. Hey, we got to show the prototypes, the, the concepts to real people that might be using or might be customers to see what they think. So we simulated that. So I said, hey, now simulate a focus group with parents and their children. The purpose is to show them the product concept, learn how they might use it. Give me the top five quotes from parents and five quotes from kids about what they say about the product. Here's what the parents say. Oh, I like it. Okay. Shatter resistant technology, BPA free plastic. Okay, we can see a parent might say that. Here's what the kids are saying, right? So we're learning. It's almost simulating that focus group with synthetic users, we might say. And I went back. Okay, now based on that feedback, how would you improve this product for parents? Parents as a customer, kids as a user. Okay, it gave me something. Here's the improvements we'd make. Hey, safety, I noticed that too, right? Chat GPT notices it. It should, because it was the one that gave it, right? And here's what kids are saying and the improvements based on what they're saying. So this is just kind of an interesting little uh, touch to put in if we're doing this uh, AI design thinking project or AI design sprint. It's almost having them be the user and what would the user say? I like to get the quotes and then build off of that. So we're all experimenting with how to do this now. So okay, now based on those 
improvements right from the quotes. Let's create new product images. Let's focus on the actual blocks first I'm asking for. Give me some various options. I would appeal to parents and kids. We're trying to speak to that user, that customer. Here we go. Well, that's kind of a neat one. A new variation. Oh, I love that look. Love that look. Just beautiful design. That's why I'm so excited about this, right? Not that it's disrupting everything I had done in the past and my career instantly, but it's so fun to see this, you know? So here are the visuals. Okay, now, great, thanks. Now show options for the product packaging. Give me the, the packaging. Oh, four options. Oh, I love this one. Reminds me of the old Tinker Toys when I was a kid. And I love the blocks, of course. Different ways of packaging, right? And it's describing those. So I could go deeper if I really liked one. I could go deeper on it. Okay, excellent. Now show me options for what the app could look like. Oh, here's the iPad. Here's the, the iPhone, right? Different ways of how that could look. Incredible. So we've built the product, the packaging, and the app, the images of it. These are a little more high fidelity prototypes, as we might say in the design thinking world. Not something we're sketching on a napkin, but wow, something that looks quite good where somebody was excited about that, could give us some feedback to iterate it, could start to, to make it look like that. Hey, then I had to check. I had to check with my wife about this product, right? We're kind of the ideal customer for this and my kids, the ideal users. Hey, but a mom I just talked to liked the product, but wanted it without screens and the technology or the app. How would you do story builder blocks without the tech? And this is something that I also like is what was almost the, uh, the MVP, the minimum viable product here. Something that's the first iteration doesn't need to go to the level that ChatGPT is suggesting. Okay, certainly. Hey, here's what we could do. Theme block sets, illustrative faces, story guidebook. I like that. Rotatable faces. Interesting. Magnetic connectivity. Okay, interesting too. All right. Now, hey, you know what we're doing. Show me the images. Show me images of this new low-tech version of the product now. Whoa, look at how beautiful that is. Incredible. I love the astronaut. I'd love to put together the story of the astronaut with the Ferris wheel and even integrate that cat in there. Oh, here you see a child kind of making the story. And there's the guidebook that I really liked. And sure, it's even going to the great text level of describing it. So this is, I think this is incredible, right? Taking a challenge to create a new product, getting the product just quick, going with the first one I got but mostly for the purpose of, hey, how would we develop this? How would we make it visual? How would we start to get to the prototyping place where we could show people? And wow, ChatGPT did this quick. So this is Darren from innovationtraining.org. Hopefully you were as fascinated as I was with this uh, AI tutorial.